the first thing is that I mean, generally speaking, I don't like to explain anything. I, I I'm not crazy about films that self explains. Um, tends to get me a bit bored, to be honest. Um, I like to actually connect the dots myself, and it makes me more active as an audience member. Um, so I like to be active when I'm watching something. So that's why I'm trying to do the same for my audiences. Uh, so that's the first thing, I never explain anything. And for that matter, even in my mise-en-scene, I never explain anything in the sense that I would never shoot an, um, you know, installation shot, you know, like, you know, you shoot a building, like wide shot of the building and you see people get in there and then you find them in the office. I would never shoot that shot. Like I'm, I'm already snoozing inside, just thinking about it. It was very, very hard to write Alex. Alex was the hardest character to, compared to Vincent. I mean, Vincent was a walk in the park next to her. And Alexia was very, very hard to, to write just because, I mean, she's like unrelatable even for me at the start, you know, she becomes, the whole point is that she becomes relatable because she becomes in touch, um, um, she becomes like more in touch with the humanity, the more the film goes and uh, with her, she starts expressing emotion and all that. And it's her journey through her own humanity that is interesting, but at the start of it, when there is no humanity, when it's only like, um, you know, death impulses and chaos and violence, I mean, even for me, she's unrelatable. I can't feel for her at this level, more, neither morally or uh, emotionally. But I had to find a way because obviously she's my main character and I can't do anything against that. And obviously she's opening the film for 30 minutes by herself. So I have to make the audience stick with her until, you know, they start like, you know, um, um, being able to, to really, uh, to be really in touch with her. Est-ce que tu peux bouger légèrement tes mains pour moi, s'il te plaît? Ok, soulève un peu tes bras maintenant. Is there really, really only one way to relate to your main character? I don't think so. I think that the history of cinema has proven that that was wrong, that we could relate to a very, um, um, despicable characters with very weak, uh, cowardly coward, car characters and stuff like that. And it's actually something that I find great. Um, but I was like, what's my entry point in order to like um, somehow challenge the form, challenge the relation we have to character. And my entry point was her body. For me, I decided that if I cannot make you feel emotions for her for the first 30 minutes, then I'm going to make you feel what she feels in her body, under her skin, you know, and hence the violence and hence the, 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 the body horror aspect of it. That is for me a way to create like an umbilical cord uh, between you and the character by playing on this body empathy that everyone feels in life. You know, like, for example, if someone gets their hand chopped off in front of you, even if you've never had your hand chopped off and even if it's not you, you're going to go like... <sighs> You know, you're going to have this movement, this physical movement of, of, of fear and of pain, whereas it's not happening to you and you're not related to that person. So I, this, is, this is my entry point for, on her for the first 30 minutes. C'est une vague de panique qui s'abat sur la région PACA depuis la découverte d'un nouveau corps ce jeudi près de Martigues. Un homme de 47 ans, il est la quatrième victime depuis le début de l'année après les meurtres de deux autres hommes et d'une femme dans des circonstances similaires. Le préfet de police appelle officiellement la population au calme et renforce les effectifs policiers sur le terrain. La piste d'un tueur en série n'est pas évoquée pour le moment, mais les appels à témoins se multiplient. C'est toujours très very um, annoying to me seeing that somehow um, portraying violence in women um, is still nowadays so morally unacceptable that in I feel that in every single film that I've seen where a woman is violent, this violence is constantly justified or explained or, you know, um, yeah, and just like, yeah, explained and justified, exactly. And, and I think that's somehow that's not fair because you have male characters that can be incredibly violent for no reason and you still you can follow them you can like uh, be like fascinated by them or i mean i'm really thinking if you think about the character of uh, javier bardem is no country for old men i mean come on the guy is an ultimate 
evil villain and he's fascinated and nothing is quite ever explained about him. As you said, as you just said, the guy just acts without telling you why he does this and giving causes for anything. But I feel that when it's a female character, it's not the same deal that we get, you know? So I just wanted to have my character, you know, uh, being just violent, unapologetically violent somehow and dangerous and feel really like a dangerous character without, without having to explain the whole like family tree or something like that in order to justify that. Because, yeah, I think that if you do that, when you justify that violence, kind of like makes you feel that, yeah, but she really was a victim at the start. Don't worry. She was a victim like it was all planned, but then something went wrong. You know, and I don't like that. I don't feel that even violent characters, female characters should be seen as, you know, designated victims in a way or another. And justifying the violence would come down to this for me.